Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And as we watch Alvin Bragg's case unfold in New York, Trump's attorney, she just made a nightmare come true for him. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Alina Haba, the, who did represent former President Donald Trump, she appeared with Sean Hannity on Thursday night, and she basically made the case for why what Alvin Bragg is doing, and what Fannie Willis is doing, and what Letitia James is doing, and what Jack Smith is doing, prosecuting Trump every possible way they can, is election interference. And this, of course, is a nightmare for Alvin Bragg, because he doesn't want to be seen as that guy. But his is the flimsiest of all cases. You have even Democrat legal people saying this is really a nothing case. And yet, in New York, it could be a grandiose case. Now, Alvin Bragg's case is on very old charges of Trump uh, paying off Stormy Daniels, and they're calling that a political donation. Letitia James' case is a little different. That's the one Jer Judge Engron is ruling on. And in that case, you have people who banks gave loans to Trump. Trump paid back the loans with interest. There's no victim. But we think you overvalued your properties. Well, you'd have to put every businessman in prison for that. Everyone in the country. It's an absolute, in my opinion, witch hunt. I want you guys' opinions on this, so please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Now, despite Fonnie Willis being on the stand today for her alleged misconduct, she still found a way to point the finger, of course, at Donald Trump. Dog bites, the beast things, you're feeling sad, blame Trump. And here's what she had to say during one of her many outbursts today. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. Now, Trump called out Willis following her testimony in an interview with Fox News Digital. The former president said, quote, the case will have to be dropped. The whole thing was a scam to get money from for the boyfriend. Meanwhile, Donald Trump was in New York City today, where a judge denied his request to dismiss and what, eight-year-old charges brought against them by Alvin Bragg over all things Stormy Daniels, Stormy, Stormy, Stormy yet again? Now, that criminal trial is scheduled to begin on March 25th, but Trump has vowed this will not stop him from hitting the campaign trail. President Trump is awaiting more news out of New York tomorrow, where a very, very, well, uh, a judge that is not exactly Trump's fan is going to we know rule against him in every way imaginable uh, in that civil fraud case. I hear now with more legal spokeswoman for the former president, Alina Haba is with us. Right, Alina, I, I've said this from the beginning. There's not a single, there's not a chance, frankly, in hell that I see that Donald Trump's going to get any fair trial in New York. Now they're going to start a trial about Stormy Daniels, we were talking about Stormy Daniels in 2016. That is eight years ago. And they're just, they're only now in an election year. Oh, they found it at a convenient time after the previous DA passed on any charges. Let's bring it up in an election year by the guy that allowed no bail for five guys on tape, illegal immigrants beating the hell out of two New York City cops. They, they got to go to the sanctuary state of California after they walked out of uh, prison, no, no bail, d gave the, the world the double finger and headed out to the West Coast. Wow. What a, what a great state that is. Yeah. Yeah. It's really unbelievable, Sean. Uh, it, you know, I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't the one sitting in these trials myself, I'll be honest with you, where they're trying to put civil attorneys in jail for objecting to evidence. This is the state of New York. This is where we are. And watching this trial today, watching what was happening at that hearing, they're all the same. I have to be honest with you. I've seen it time and time again now. I've, I've had the pleasure of working for the president for, for the past few years. And I can tell you, this is all corrupt. It is all absolutely election interference. There is no way, as you point out, that the Stormy case would come about now in the middle of an election, in the middle against the leading candidate. And you know who that was brought from? Michael Cohen, real reliable source we have there. So the desperation is real. The Trump derangement syndrome is real. And it is pathetic and obvious. And now we're seeing money laundering and money funneling coming through. 
you can't make it up. They're going to the Biden administration. They're taking visits to the White House. They're coordinating with other DAs and AGs. Do not get it twisted. He has done absolutely nothing wrong. But in the great state of New York, don't worry. They'll bring and put their nose in a private company and try and disgorge you for doing what? Having a statement of financial condition that was undervalued, but a judge will say, oh, Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million. They definitely overvalued their statements of financial condition. Well, yeah, if you're using ridiculous numbers like that, Sean, oh, Alina, it is it's, crazy. It, it's, it's like